It's me, Brianna, and today I have another book video. So yeah, <laughs> um, sorry if there's any background noise. Um, my fan's on because it's hot. There's people mowing the lawn somewhere outside, and yeah. And also, low key, kind of mad because like we're in quarantine, can't go anywhere, and all I had to take off all of my acrylics, and I only have my thumbs, so it just looks stupid. Yeah, but today, um, I'm going to be doing a book haul, um, it's only like May, it's only like the third week of May, but like, I just got all, I got, um, all these books, um, some of them were like, somebody was selling them on Facebook for like a whole bunch of them for like a cheap price, so I just got them, but yeah and then some of the and then i have like a little stack on top that i went in the basement and had saw seen that i had and i didn't know i had them so i just brought them up so pretty much all the books i gathered from that yeah so let's get in the video so the stack i'm gonna start with the small stack first and the first book there's like okay there's four little ones and then like three like medium size so we have old yeller by fred gibson like this book but if you want to um tuck everlasting by natalie babbitt i read this last year and it was really good people in my group didn't like it but i enjoyed it um flying solo by ralph fletcher i read this in like fifth grade why not it was just downstairs so i was like mm, just bring it and the barcode tattoo by suzanne something i read when i read this last year i did not know it was a series but the, I enjoyed this a lot. And then the two bigger books are Hidden um, by them. Um, and it's a story about the Holocaust. Last year and in sixth grade, I was really, really liked it. I really um, was invested with the Holocaust. So I got that. So that was cool. And I also found this downstairs, The Magic Finger by um, Ronald Doe. So that's that. And now it's going to the end ones. So the next two... Um, if you didn't know, in books that are like these, the um, mess maker paperbacks, um, some of them have little like flyers in them that you can get like free books. And I had another one of these and it had them this, so I sent it in. But it was from like 2016, so I didn't think it was gonna work, right? But it worked, and <laughs> I got these in the mail yesterday. Um, the one who's the one who says stays. I can't read. Oh no. Proceeds to not know how to read and throws the book on the ground. I like that. <laughs> By Tony Blake. And The Little Tea Shop on Main by Jody Thomas. I thought they sounded good and I just dropped it, but it's okay. It's a little dead on the side now. Yay. But yeah, next one's. So this one is the only one that I got, like, I paid for. And it's um, Little Fires Everywhere. I'm about. 125 pages in and I really like this the beginning I really wasn't invested like not like at all but like I I mm, didn't really like the beginning but I mean I still am in the beginning oh no okay, if you can see that you probably really can't whatever I'm like right here um but like I'm starting to starting to pick up a little bit I'm reading that now and this is by Celeste NG or how do you say that? Sorry. And then the other book I'm reading right now is also The Silent Wife that I got off the Facebook thing by A.S.A. Harrison. And I'm only about 25 pages into this, but I really like this. I really don't read thriller like that, but I wanted to try to read some more. So I got this one and a couple other ones, just like try to read some. There's the two I'm reading now. And then another book I got from Facebook was None of the Stars, which I've read in school and i really like this this and the book fever 1792 or something like that but that was really good and i don't remember the numbers are but i'm probably gonna look that up later and see if i find it but this is really good this is also um somewhat like uh around and about um 
the Holocaust, so I really enjoy that. But the next thing I got was The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls, and I think this is a memoir. I didn't know that, but that's okay. I really don't have a whole bunch of memoirs, so I'm like, I mean, I wasn't mad that it's a memoir. And also, look, now I can, you know, read a memoir and see if I like them. Um, so yeah. And then the next book I got was The Solence of Leaving Early by Heaven Kimmel. And from the back, I thought this sounded really good. I thought this was going to be really different. And then when I read the back, I was like, oh, well, I mean, I'm still going to like it. But, like, I did not expect it off with the cover and what the title is. But it looked good. And yeah. The next book I got was... Oh, no. Um, these are all from Facebook, the ones I'm saying now. Um, what She Knew. And this is a thicker book, but that's okay. And it's by... Gilly McGillan, I'm so sorry for that, but it's okay. And this was, this one is also a thriller, I'm pretty sure. And pretty, I got this one pretty much for the same reason of the other thriller. I just want to get more into thrillers. And this one was a bit thicker than the other one. So like, you know, let me get a thin one, let me get a thick one, let me get a hardcover one. Yeah. The next one I got was The Body Keeps the Score, and I did not know what this book was about when I got it. I guess this would be an interesting read, honestly. Um, the Body Keeps the Score by... Oh, uh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, Bustle Van Der Kolk, N.D. That's... Oh, that was terrific. Wow. Um, the Body Keeps the Score. The bra Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma. Um, I did not know this book. I don't know what it was about. Like, I low-key just read this. Couldn't even see this on the on the post. So, I guess this is going to be, like, a different, like, same thing with the memoir. Don't, like, read books like this. I guess, like, if I do read this, that's going to be an interesting thing. And then the next book I got was Jojo Moore's, I think that's how you say her name, After You. And I did not know this was the second book to Me Before You. I got this because it's, I think, pretty sure it's a romance. But I need to get Me Before You to read this one before Me Before You, After You. <laughs> same thing. No, but, like, whatever. You know, and, I don't know, I didn't see the movie, but I've heard people say it was really good. So, yeah. The next, okay, the last four are hardcovers. Next one I got was Behind Closed Doors. I saw this book, not this book, never mind. This book looked good. <laughs> um, and I've seen people say it was really good on booktube and stuff. And also, like, it's gold and black like that oh and this is by B.A. Paris if you were wondering the next book I got I've really been looking for I don't know why it's just the cover just like always drawn to me and I just really wanted it and then I was like I was gonna get it then I didn't because it was like sold out or something on some store I mean some website but then I finally got it sold to the sea by Ruta so I have no idea, but this is what I love about this book. It's like, it's white with the dark blue, but it has a thing on it, and it has like, okay, this doesn't sound stupid, but like, cookies and cream, like, looking, because it's like, speckled, that's what it is, it's like, speckled with black paint, but I love that. On the book Sadie, um, it's red and has, um, I mean, it's white and has a pocket knife, like, carved into it. I love that. I, first of all, I love that book. And second of all, that's by Courtney Summers. And third of all, um, oh, wait, it's so pretty and I love it. So I thought, pretty book, might love it. It's also really, I love the cover. So, yeah. Next book I got was... Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. Um, I'm pretty sure there's stuff down here, but like there's awards covering it, so I really can't see what it's about. But like, I'll look up the cover later. I'll just here, no, you know, I'll put the cover right here, like without the award sticker, so you can see what it actually looks like. Oh, well, my messy room. That's okay. <laughs> here, 
Yeah. Also, like, I never wore my hair in bun in videos, so it's kind of weird, but whatever. Um, I've heard really, really, really good things about this. And it's also really pretty, so, yeah. And this is by Benjamin Allery. I don't know, no idea. I probably really pronounced this wrong. Um, and the last book I got, which this is the one I was trying to talk about, um, for Behind Closed Doors, because, like, I can't read, obviously. Um, The Couple Next Door. I've seen this on Book Outlet, but it was in paperback form, and it was in a pocketbook. That's not a pocketback. No. Mm -mm, that's not what I meant. Pocketbook. That's what it said. Meaning, like, I guess it meant, like, like, something like this. Like, one of the small ones. I don't know. It's just, I really, if I was going to get this, I was going to get an hardcover. But this sounded really good. I really wanted to get it. Um, first of all, the cover, it's just cool, honestly. Just cool. Um, a bird just came out of nowhere, okay, um, I guess. And also, the synopsis, oh my god, when I can speak today, okay, keep your honor. Uh, ew, just, just ew, what, what, ew, what, ew. Ew. Um, but it just sounded really good, and I feel like, okay, the books that I chose are more about, like, couples, like, the Silent Wife is about a couple, this is about a couple, and I'm pretty sure Behind Closed Doors is about a couple. I don't know. It's okay. But those are all the books I got. They sound really good. Um, I really have to finish. I'm going to try to finish these soon so I can get on to more ones. The Silent Wife and Little Fires Everywhere. Um, oh, right. After this, after I'm reading this, I'm definitely going to start trying to uh, watch the series on Hulu to see if it's like a really alike, if it's really different. I just want to see. Because like I'm obviously imagining the characters like as things and I've seen some like pictures of the show on Google and on Hulu because I like, watch Law and Order SVU of course on that best show ever. Um, so I've like seen the, the mom and the um, I've seen um What's her name? Miss Miss Richardson and Mia. I've seen them, what they look like. But I've like, obviously I've seen them before, so like that's what I imagine them as. Like all the other characters, I imagine them as something different and like how they act. But yeah. So those are all stuff, like I already said. Uh, make sure you like, comic, comic. Anyways, like, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Turn on post notifications so you can tell when I get when I post a new video so you can get a notification when I do that. But yeah. Bye!